Today we're going to talk about working yarn overs and I'm going to show you a little trick for keeping them extra tidy depending on which direction your zigs and zags are going to go. So we're going to call this a zig that goes off to the right. We're going to call it a zag when it goes off to the left. Now I think we've all experienced yarn overs that got a little bit messy or a little bit too loose. So this little trick is just really my attempt at keeping them a little snug and making sure that one side of our yarn overs doesn't get messier and bigger than the other. So on our zig side, I'm going to wrap it front to back, just like a normal yarn over. See that? Front to back. Then I hold it nice and tight. And when I go to work the next stitch, I really pull that working yarn snug. And I do that to really reel in that yarn over so I don't have to worry that it's going to get too loose on me when I'm not paying attention because we've all had that happen, haven't we? So I'm getting over to my zag, which goes the other direction. And I gave the suggestion in the zip line pattern specifically to wrap these yarn overs the opposite direction when you reach the part of the pattern that's asking you to work the opposite side, which I'm going to call zags. So here we are on the zag. It's going to go off to the left. Now, um, when you work it front to back, you end up with a little bit extra yarn. So on this side, I wrap back to front. See how I've gone the opposite way and really pull it tight. Now it's gonna feel a little bit awkward. You just have to disregard the awkwardness back to front and then we're gonna slip, slip, knit. So slip, slip, put those back on and knit them together through the back loop. And that has given me a snug little yarn over. At the moment, it barely looks like a yarn over, which is just exactly how we want it. Now I'm going to pause for a second and get back to this row so that you can see when we come back the other direction, how we are going to work that yarn over because on one side, the legs of the yarn over will be placed properly and on the other, they won't. So as of right now, this is where it stands. Here's my yarn over wrapped back to front. Here's my yarn over wrapped front to back. Okay, I've arrived back at my zig. I've got that yarn over. This was worked um, the regular uh, front to back method. So I'm just gonna knit into that stitch like normal. There's my yarn over on that side. It looks a little big at the moment, but don't worry, it really firms up once you get going. Now we're gonna go to the other one on my zag side. I'm probably getting my zigs and zags backwards here. So if I say the wrong thing, you know what I mean. Now we're going to go to this other one and this is the one when it's going off to the left where it's going to be presented with the legs twisted on the left needle when you get to it. So you actually have to work it through the back of the stitch. Okay, see here we are and see how the legs are twisted. So if I were to knit into it like normal, I would actually be twisting the stitch. Can you see that? So instead, you can either represent it or you can just leave it there and knit through the back loop, but you're going to knit through the stitch that way and then complete the row. Now, when you get going and you work a few more rows, you'll really start to see the way these yarn overs come together nicely and they'll be evenly sized on both sides. But the trick is really work them tight on both sides, going both directions, whether you're wrapping front to back or back to front, really make sure you um, wrap them tightly. And then uh, when you go back to work them, make sure that when you're coming back on that zag row, that you're knitting it through the back loop so you can untwist those legs or just reposition the stitch on your needle. That's all there is to it.